Ensure tripod legs are facing the ground and loosen tripod legs. Lift the tripod until the platform is at eye level. Tighten tripod legs. Spread tripod legs and plant the feet into the ground. Roughly level the tripod's platform base by adjusting the tripod legs. Firmly step on feet platforms ensuring tripod is stable. Double check to ensure the platform is still roughly level. Remove the total station from case. Ensure both hands are firmly on instrument to prevent slippage. Place the total station onto tripod's platform base. Locate the screw under the platform base and screw it into the bottom of the total station, ensuring the instrument is firmly attached to tripod. Power on total station. Open the tablet case. Connect the tablet case to tripod by sliding the clip on the back of tablet case into the slit located on the legs of the tripod. Using the leveling bubble displayed, level the total station. Insert prism into marked survey station on wall. Ensure prism I is pointing at the total station. Insert prism into the opposite marked survey station on wall. Ensure prism I is pointing at total station. Aim the total station laser at the first prism and select continue. Aim the total station laser at the second prism and select continue. Aim the total station laser one meter away from face in the bottom left hand corner. Rotate the total station laser clockwise at a steady pace around the drift opening to obtain a face profile. It is preferred to aim the laser about one meter away from the face to ensure the best possible results are achieved. The face profile is now displayed on the tablet screen. MOS will generate a center line of the drift using the two-point triangulation and the face profile. Spray paint a spot on the face where the total station laser is aiming and then spray a vertical and horizontal line through the paint spot showing the center line on the face. If marking the crank line on the back, attach spray paint to spray paint arm and ensure it is properly secured. Mark crank line by using the spray paint arm as the total station laser is moving along the back. The instrument will now trace the grade line starting from the center of the face and tracing the left side of the drift before returning to the center and tracing the right side of the drift. The laser will blink rapidly when the left or right walls are located. Follow the total station laser with a spray paint can along the wall, spraying your grade line. The grade line also gives you the proper height, indicating where to install the screening up to. MOSS will automatically generate the drill pattern along with lines that can be used to locate back sites. Once the drill pattern has been generated, it becomes possible to mark up the holes. Follow the total station laser along the face and spray a dot when the laser flashes repeatedly. The whole markup process can be paused and resumed using the pause and play buttons. Pausing will make the laser go back five holes. Once all the holes have been marked up, the drawing will change to show which holes have been found. 
Once all the work has been done and saved, the tablet and instrument can be turned off and all the equipment can be torn down and put away. Remove prisms from wall and place in case. Close tablet case and put away. Insert total station back into case.